Uh, you know, what's going through my head, you know, before I walk out on, uh, you know, to, towards the ring is, uh, I guess, here we go. <laughs> Love it. The moment I decided to be an MMA fighter was after uh, my first year of wrestling, which was my last year of wrestling. I was a senior in high school and uh, actually met Tito. You know, Tito came in, he was showing some wrestling seminars and stuff. You know, and then, you know, I got invited over to Team Punishment and I went over there and I had one training session, you know, did pretty good with just being a scrappy kid, you know, 18 years old. And, you know, I met my first trainer and he was like, hey, you want to fight? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll try this out. He's like, okay, you're fighting two weeks. Like, oh, shoot, okay. And, you know, I had my first fight in two weeks, went out there, got the victory, and that was it. My favorite cartoon character is, I mean, I'm gonna take it old school, I'm not to say Voltron. I've been, I don't know why, I just, that just popped in my head, Voltron, Defender of the Universe, all the lions coming together, you know, to, to make this giant freaking, you know, uh, robot to, to destroy evil. So, you know, I feel, sometimes I feel like I, I bring myself together in different ways to destroy evil too, so, uh, so Voltron. I got the nickname Hardcore Kid from, uh, you know, my music, you know, the music scene that I'm into. I'm into the hardcore scene, so, uh, you know, so I've always, uh, you know, we're all considered hardcore kids, you know, because the majority of people that start off in the hardcore scene, we get in there as, as kids, you know, like we're, you know, we're the ruffians and the riffraff and all that stuff, you know, but, you know, we, we didn't want to, like, conform to everything else, you know, everybody else does with the, you know, hip-hop culture and going to clubs, and it was just about uh, going and just, you know, going in the pit and stage diving and, you know, kicking your friend in the face, you know, and just, and just having a great old time, you know, you may go home a little bloody after, you know, but it's better that than, you know, driving home drunk and getting in car accidents. You know, me and the whole universe thing, you know, anything that has, uh, you know, that has the velocity behind it, you know, is, is gonna, is obviously gonna do more damage. So, uh, so yeah, so I mean, the tighter the turn, you know, the little ballerina turn, I like to call it, you know, I keep everything tight and I, I, I just, I throw that spinning back fist out there and it doesn't matter who you are, you know, if it lands on you, it, it's gonna put you to sleep. So, you know, I mean, I can throw up in so many different positions. I can throw up my left hand, I can throw up my right hand. I just, I just happen to knock more people out with my left than with my right. But, you know, when it connects, especially when it connects flushly, you know, rather it be in training or in a fight, you know, it feels amazing, you know, and the movement itself, you know, puts me in perfect position, you know, to, uh, to, to, to hurt somebody really bad, you know. Um, you know, he's really good wrestler, you know, really, really sticky, you know, uh, you know, he's long, you know, but I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't knock anybody out. He's not a devastating puncher, you know, I'm sure he's working on his striking too, but, you know, my style is so unorthodox, it doesn't matter how long you've been striking or, you know, I'll always find a way to, to get around, you know, your, your game when it comes down to the striking department. So, uh, so yeah, I think the biggest, the biggest weapon he has against me is going to be his wrestling, but we'll be ready, you know, I'll, I'll be prepared for, for all this, you know, because, uh, that's, that's what we got to do in order to win this tournament.